Now we are moving the next group of drug. They are called what? Cholino blockers. Cholino blockers. The cholino blockers you can classify them into two. Right? We have muscarinic and nicotinic blocker. As you studied for numeric also, we have nicotinic blockers and muscarinic. So first we study about nicotinic. So nicotinic is of two types, right? N N nicotinic neural and N M nicotinic muscular. Nicotinic neural that is in ganglia and in neuromuscular junction. Okay, first we study about nicotinic. So what are the nicotinic neural N N blockers or ganglion blockers? Remember two examples very important. Trimethophan and hexamethonin. Trimethophan and hexamethonin. They are ganglionic blockers. So what are the uses? They are used in acute hypotension. So you want acute hypertension, and they are used in controlled hypotension. Controlled hypotension means. While doing the surgery, huh? the surgeon want to reduce the BP, right? Or any accident, if they cut the artery, they will have high bleeding. So to control the bleeding, you have to reduce the blood pressure. At that time, we use cannulonic blocker. Try methophan and exaphan. Now, acute hypertension means like in the uh, disease, like we do aortic dissection. So we will have sudden blood pressure loss. Sorry, in the aortic dissection, you will have more. Blood pressure. At that time, you can block the uh, ganglia, so you will have less acetyl choline, the presynaptic membrane. So these are the trimethophan and hexamethan. So the parasympathetic blockers. Remember. Okay. Now we will study about the NM blockers. NM blockers means neuromuscular. NM blockers. This NM blockers or neuromuscular blockers. Neuromuscular junction blockers. So you can divide this drug into two: depolarizing and non-depolarizing. Depolarizing and non-depolarizing. Depolarizing drugs they include first one our succinyl choline. See what is the meaning of this deep water? I already discussed in the previous video that is they will use the sodium ions. So you will see what is in the question sum. They will give you muscles fasciculation or twisting or twitching of muscle. That is called muscle fasciculation. So deep rising and succinyl choline. Now second things. So they use what sodium. Ion. So what is the use of this succinyl choline? So they are used in endotracheal intubation. That is for artificial ventilation. Endotracheal intubation or in artificial ventilation. Now not depolarizing means they doesn't use any ions. There is no muscle twitching or fasciculation. The examples include. Tubocuranium, all the drugs with the curanium group, curanium, mevocuranium, mevocuranium, atovocuranium, all the curanium drugs. Huh? They are not depolarized, they will also cause what? Muscle relaxation. So, what is the function of this drug? They will cause, they are better muscle relaxation, both depolarizing and uh, non depolarizing, but depolarizing uses sodium ions. Okay? So, you know, in old age, there's a story, old age, this curanium they are used for. Uh, hunting animals, they will hunt, they will paste in the arrow, like cranium, they hunt animals, though the legs of the animals get relaxed, so they can't run, so they can't hunt the animals. So these are the important nicotinic blockers, neuromuscular and neuro, sorry, nicotinic muscular and nicotinic neural. Now we will go for the biggest one, that is muscularic blockers, clear? Okay?